Hi, I'm Brian. I'm here today to tell you about how the WalkAid scooter uh, provides unparalleled maneuverability and takes mobility to a whole next level. Um, anyway, so the scooter is really good for people with uh, hip, knee, or foot issues, including the over 20 million people that have peripheral neuropathy. Um, but anyways, here's how the scooter works. Uh, there's a couple of variations on it. Um, basically, uh, if you have, let's say, a bad left foot, you can rest your foot on there and sort of scoot with your right foot like this. If you want to just, you know, de-weight this foot, or you actually can uh, completely de-weight the foot and kind of let it hang down and scoot if you want 100% not weight-bearing. Uh, or you can actually, uh, if you do have uh, peripheral neuropathy, for instance, or have a customer that has that and they want to de-weight their feet and get the pain out of their feet and be able to still get around, you can actually propel with both feet and now the weight is really generally on the 90% on the seat. And so then your feet feel a lot better and you can still get around. So it's a really uh, useful tool for that type of scenario. Um, but anyways, um, one of the reasons that um, WalkAid Scooter is a really nice mobility aid is that it's not as wide as, let's say, a wheelchair, for instance. Uh, these handlebars are only 18 inches wide and it just uh, scoots right through doorways as opposed to the wheelchair generally has uh, about 28 inch wide and uh, most doorways are about 30, so that's sort of a tight squeeze. Um, the other thing, that real advantage that the um, Walkade scooter has is it has these pneumatic tires, and there's only two of them, and really, once you get going, you want to scoot on this thing uh, with one push with the leg, and you're moving about 10 or 15 feet, um, as opposed to, it seems like on a wheelchair, uh, you want to get somewhere, it requires a lot of work and you're not getting very far because you're just barely pushing those uh, rings or uh, rims, push rings. But anyways, um, the other nice thing about the WalkAid scooter is that um, if you want to reach stuff, if you're down in a wheelchair, sometimes you have a hard time reaching very high. The neat thing about this WalkAid scooter is you can reach if you want to get stuff on a pretty tall shelf. And then the other nice thing um, in that same vein is uh, you want to carry a conversation on someone, you're at the same level as someone talking pretty much, and so you don't feel like you're, you're down in this wheelchair type thing and you have to talk up to people, and that's sort of a psychological nice thing about it. Um, the other nice thing about the WalkAid scooter is that, um, let's say you make a cup of coffee in the kitchen, and then you want to go drink it somewhere, and you're in a wheelchair, well, it's very difficult. How are you going to carry it? Very difficult. So you grab your cup of coffee and you're good to go on the scooter. Uh, or let's say you know you went into the kitchen and you want to make yourself a sandwich and eat it somewhere, and you actually can carry it with the scooter. So you uh, got your sandwich and you're ready to rock and roll. Okay. Okay. So the next thing is uh, the scooter um, gives you a better uh, experience than a wheelchair. I mean, let's say for instance, you know, you're at the coffee shop with your friends. And someone says, gee, my knee's been killing me or my hip or whatever. I've decided to elected surgery of getting a knee or hip replacement or something. And so they're going to be stuck in a wheelchair. Is that they're, I, I just can't imagine people are going to go, this guy says, gee, I can't wait to go down to the mobility store and rent a wheelchair to be in for a few weeks while I'm recovering. As opposed to, if you can imagine, uh, someone coming in and saying, gee, I get to get around on the scooter that's going to give me, you know, 90% of what I do before the hip surgery. Now I'm going to get around with, you know, after the surgery and, you know, non-weight bearing setup on uh, a easy to get around maneuverable scooter. So it's going to provide uh, the end user with a better experience, okay? Now as far as comparing the scooter to, let's say, a knee walker or something like that because it sort of uh, can be used for that type of use as well, uh, instead of being in an awkward position on the knee walker, okay, here they have you in this position of putting your foot way back like this, and then you're kind of hopping along like this, scooting uh, as mobility. And uh, anyway, so it's kind of awkward. And uh, I don't know, it seems like you're putting a lot of load on the knee. It does sound like a lot of fun. Uh, if you want non weight bearing on a foot, it's a lot nicer on the scooter. If you want total 100% non-weight bearing of your foot down like this or else up on the foot peg. I guess I already kind of did that. And um, 
But anyways, the neat thing about it is uh, it's, it's really nice to be able to get around the scooter. Um, uh, compared to the knee walker um, with the seat on it, uh, there's some of those around, those are kind of awkward, and that your foot is up and uh, kind of forward like this, and then you're trying to scoot along, and uh, it's a very awkward position they're putting you in. Because of the two rear wheels, you can't have issue with the um, heel strike and stuff like that. Same way, so those are sort of the uh, uh, simple, convenient uh, things about the mobility of the scooter. Um, but the other reason you might be interested in the scooter is the economics. Is uh, If you decide to go ahead and carry the scooter in your store, you're not going to have to worry about you know people sloughing off down to um, eBay or Amazon or a big box retailer because these will only be distributed through independent medical supply stores like yours.